A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. This video will teach you how to create a setup to take orders from customers, and how to create professional looking order forms. Initial page of this setup, is an interactive report that lists all orders. First order number column acts as a link. When you click an order number, you see another page of this setup, this page will show details of selected order. Upper pane of this page retrieves data from master table, while lower pane shows order details in an interactive grid. Page also contains a couple of auto-generated buttons for record navigation. You can use these buttons to move from one customer order to another. Orders from customers will be taken through a sequence of wizard steps. This first wizard step will allow you to select an existing customer or create a new one. In this second wizard step, you will select ordered products. After placing order, this last wizard step will show summary of placed order. Once an order is created, you can view, modify, or delete it, through order details page using order number link column in orders main page. Let's create two main pages using the conventional route. A master detail page reflects a one-to-many relationship between two tables in a database. Select the drill down option, which opens input form in a separate page. Fill the page attributes on next screen. This setup is based on two database tables, demo orders, and demo order items. Set navigation preference to map to an existing entry. Set existing navigation menu entry to orders. Click next. Primary key column is populated automatically behind the scene using a trigger named demo orders via a sequence named demo orders sequence. Order ID column selected is the navigation order column used by previous and next buttons on the order details page to navigate to a different master record. Click next. Set following properties on the detail page screen. On this screen you specify the relational child table, which carries line item information for each order. Click next. Primary key column of this table is populated automatically via a trigger named Demo Order Items, which gets the next primary key values from a sequence named Demo Order Item Sequence. In the Master Detail Foreign Key list you select the sole auto-generated foreign key, which creates a relationship between the Master and Detail tables. Click Create Page button. master detail page created before running these pages let's see what the wizard has done for us this master page page 4 is created with an interactive report to display a list of all order from the orders master table the details page page 29 on the other hand has many things to reveal 
This process fetches master row from demo orders table. If you see a different process name then there is nothing to worry about as it sometimes happens due to change in Apex version. This first region is a static content region, which displays master information like customer ID, order date, and so on. These buttons are added to the master region to fetch previous and next orders respectively. For example, when you click the next button, the page is submitted to get the next order record from the server. Visibility of the next and previous buttons is controlled by a server-side condition, which says that these buttons will be visible only when their corresponding hidden items have some values. Cancel button closes page 29 and takes you back to page 4 without saving an order. For this a redirect action is generated in the behavior section with page 4 set as the target. Delete button removes a complete order. When this button is clicked, a confirmation dialog pops up using its target property. Save button records updates to an existing order in the corresponding database table. This button is visible when you call an order for modification. Create button is used for new orders to handle the insert operation. This button is visible when you are creating a new order. This is an interactive grid region, which is generated to view, add, modify, and delete line items. Click Processing tab. This automatic row processing, DML type process is generated by the wizard to handle DML operations performed on the master row of an order, which gets into the demo orders table. It comes into action when you click delete, save, or create buttons. Save interactive grid data process is responsible to handle DML operations on the details table, demo order items. This process is associated with the details section interactive grid to insert, update, or delete interactive grid rows. When you submit a page, Oracle Apex server receives a submit request and performs the processes and validations associated with that request. After that it evaluates where to land in the application via these branches. By default it selects the current page as the target page. A branch has two important properties, behavior and server-side condition. First two branches are created to keep you on page 29. These branches are associated with next and previous buttons, see when button pressed properties of these branches. The third one takes you back to page 4 when you click any other button on this page, see the behavior section that specifies the redirect. Run this setup from the orders navigation menu entry. The first page, page 4 you see is an interactive report. It has a create button which is used to create a new order. Click the edit link, represented with a pencil icon in front of any record to call the order details page, page 29. The order details page has two regions. The upper region which is called the master region displays information from the demo orders table, while the lower interactive grid region shows relevant line item information from the demo order items table. Besides usual buttons the master region has two navigational buttons at the top. These buttons help you move forward and backward to browse orders. The order timestamp field is supplemented with a date picker control. You can add more products to the details section by clicking the add row button. From a professional viewpoint this page is not user friendly. If you try to add a new product, you have to enter its ID manually. Moreover if you try to create a new order, you won't see the interactive grid. To avoid all such problems, follow the subsequent parts of video to make the setup user friendly. Thanks for watching.